Hi guys, good evening. Hi teacher. Good evening. Hi, Chere, good evening. How are you guys? So so. Oh no. Why? <laughs> Why are you so so? What's the matter? What's wrong? Because I tired. Now uh, you, you are tired? Okay, that's normal, yes. <laughs> it's normal. I'm tired too, but I'm here. Yes, I'm here. Today is a beautiful day. <laughs> you continue learning. Uh, well, welcome everybody. It is good to see you again. After a day off, it's good to see you all once again. All right. Yes, I'm just happy to see you. And uh, well, we are going to cover some uh, material today and we are going to practice some things that we did not practice uh, or that we have not yet practiced, but we will do so soon. All right, yes. I'm just glad that you, are, you guys are here, okay? Yes, I'm happy, happy to see you people. Bienvenidos. Una vez más. I'll show. <laughs> okay, no. All right, let me let me take attendance and then I'm going to give you some information about today. Here. All right, let me see Alba Janet Jimenez Cabrera. <clears throat> Alba Janet Jimenez Cabrera. Are you here? No, you're not. Okay. What am I doing? Ana Marcela Argueta Santos. Present teacher. Hi. Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Hi, Carlos. Carlos Josue Pascasio Garcia. He will join us later on. Catherine Alexandra Lozano Ramirez. No, she's not here yet. Cesar Arquimedes Moreno Flores. Cesar? No, right? Present teacher. Ah, hey, hello, hello. Mauricio Galvez Juarez. Present. Hello. Jose, Hi, teacher. Carlos Pascasio, presente. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present, teacher. I'm here. Hello. Hello. Marcela Tarina Melgar Alas. Presente. Hello. Uh, Margarita Rosmeri Perez Ayala. Present. Hello. Maria Jose Hernandez Auceda. Present. Hello, Maria. Raul Arturo Esquivel Medina. Present teacher. Hey, Raul. Renaldo Antonio. Fernandez Acevedo. No, not yet. 
Sandra Yanira Ayala Jimenez. Present teacher. Silvio Guadalupe Romero Montoya. Present. Wilber Alberto Perez Vendez. Present teacher. Fanny you, uh, Judith Palacios de Oliva. Present teacher. Karen Amilet Rivas Ayala. Present teacher. And Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. I'm here, teacher. Carlos, qué milagro, temprano. ¿Me oye, profe? Temprano. Teacher, no me mencionó. <laughs> yes, Jair. ¿Tiene pregunta? No, no escuché mi nombre o no lo mencionó. Sí, lo mencioné. Ah, lo siento, no contesté. No problem, okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, okay, guys, I'm going to give you some information. Today it's class number 10. So that means that we finished we finish the second week today. Uh, we need to finish, we need to have the platform done. The, the, we have to finish the platform today. And also we have to finish the midterm, okay? Hay que terminar el examen de medio mes o de segunda semana. Y hay que tener la plataforma al día on la segunda semana, okay? Yes, all right, thank you guys, all right? Porque hoy es el último día, hoy es la semana, hoy es la clase de los días. Okay. Clase número sí, yes, Carlos. Hoy es, hoy es el límite para hacer el examen. Sí, sí, para hacerlo esa hora. Okay. okay. Yes, yes, no problem. All right, yes, please do it, all right, do it. And I will be very, very thankful. Okay, now we're going to start. <clears throat> we are going to, we're going to uh, have a review of unit number two. Un repaso de la semana, la semana número, la semana número dos. Perdón, unidad número dos. Let me see what's up. I'm trying to find some information here that is very important that Okay, uh, well, there's a, on page, on page number 25, if I'm not mistaken, on page 25, we have an activity that we haven't finished, but we're going to, we're going to work on this in order, okay, like step by step. So right now we're going to start with the, with the review and later on, we are going to work on another activity, okay. Para comenzar, vamos al repaso de la unidad número dos, ok, vamos a iniciar, yes. okay. all right, let me show you or share with you the presentation, here it is, you see it, do you guys see the presentation, yes, yes, all right, as you can see, it says review, Review of unit number two and practice. Okay, so we're going to review, see the topics that we have seen, seen and also we are going to practice. Vamos a practicar bastante, okay? Yes, that's what we're going to do. All right, let's start, let's start, vamos. Okay, uh, unit number two, it, it starts on page number 19 and it goes up to page number 28. Comienza de la página 19. Hasta la página 28 es la unidad número 2. Okay. And, uh, well, this week we have studied three topics. Hemos estudiado o practicado tres mm -hmm. temas, uh, which are listed here, los cuales han sido listados acá. Okay, tenemos how often, plus frequency adverbs, how to use imperatives, and how to use need to and have to. Okay. And how often con los adverbios de frecuencia, cómo usar imperativos, Y cómo usar el need to y el have to. Okay. Así está. Acá. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Somebody wrote in the chat. Yeah. Okay. No problem, Archimedes. 
Archimedes, 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 or Archimedes, no sé. Okay, yes, very good. Cesar, no problem with your internet, okay? I'm sorry that you have problems with it. Okay, so we're going to review these topics, okay? We're going to go step by step, okay? To start, I, 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 I will ask you to go. Let's go, let's go to page number 20. Vamos a la página 20 del libro, please. Page number 20 in the book. Are you guys there on page number 20? Well, I'm here. Yes. Okay, over here we have the frequency adverbs, okay, yes. And this is the definition of, of the frequency adverbs. It says that we use frequency adverbs to say how frequently an activity happens. Okay, los usamos para, para expresar cuán frecuente una acción sucede o ocurre. Okay, that's what practically what, what it means. Okay, y acá tenemos unos cuantos. Uh, well, let me see if I, if I write more here. Algunos que no están acá, podemos añadirlos. Okay, commonly, regularly, también está ahí. Constantly, okay. Yes. Okay, let's continue here. Well, we have, we have always, always, Okay, usually, normally, often, okay, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, rarely. Tenemos también la último, never, okay. We also have frequently, que no está aquí. Almost always, almost never. Eso casi no se usa, pero sí, eso se existen. Que casi nunca, casi siempre, casi nunca. Porque okay, se puede usar así como está acá. Almost always, almost never, pero no es muy recomendable. En vez de decir almost casi siempre o casi nunca, mejor digamos sometimes. Ok, es mucho más sencillo. All right. Uh, commonly, regularly, constantly. Ok, commonly, comúnmente. Ok, comúnmente. Regularmente, constantemente, frecuentemente, casi nunca, casi siempre y casi nunca. Ok, yes. Ok, that's how it is. All right. Uh, well, we have some examples here, but we're not going to, I'm just giving you, giving you the review. Do you guys, do you guys have any questions about these preguntas de esto, de esto que está acá? Preguntas, questions about this? La estructura de la última oración de never. I never get, get late to work. Mm -hmm. Get es como ahí en eso va siendo como llegar. Oh, llegar sí, tarde. Sí, la cuestión es que el, ver, el verbo get, debo decirle que el verbo get es muy multifuncional. Porque okay, se puede usar en diferentes, en diferentes formas. Ok. Una forma de ellas es la que está acá, que es el get con el late, late es un adjetivo, ¿ok? Que significa tarde, ¿sí? Late es un adjetivo que significa tarde. Get late. Entonces, y ese get late es llegar tarde. Ok, thank you. Yes. Ok. Yes. Ok. Más preguntas, more questions. No? Okay. We're going to practice. Vamos a practicar. Okay. We're going to practice right now. Here. Todos, todos vamos, vamos a practicar. Okay. Vamos. Oh, la estructura es bien sencilla. Se la voy a colocar por acá para que no nos perdamos un poco en ese aspecto. Aquí se las Iniciamos con la, con la persona, person, plus, 
¿ok? FA o FA, que es, que, que es uh, Frequency Adverse, las Verb, si quiere poner la S, también hay problema, le ponemos con la S. Y el complement. Complemento. Ok, sorry. Ok, ahí está la estructura, pues se la quieren ver para que puedan usarla o respaldarse con ella. Ok, iniciamos. Everybody, everybody is going to give me an example. Ok, todos va, me darán un ejemplo. Así que iniciamos. ¿Quién quiere iniciar? Who wants to start? I never drink coffee in my work. Why no? Por qué no? Why not? I don't like me. I don't like it. ¿No le gusta el café? No, teacher. No sea así, Sena. No sea así. Aquí estamos, mire, presente con la patria. <laughs> No, quedamos mal, quedamos mal, César. Pero, pero excelente. Good example, good example. I never drink coffee. Ok. At work. Excellent. Another volunteer. Is there another I volunteer? sometimes go to work later. Sometimes. Sometimes. I sometimes go to work later. Go, go to work late. Late sería Carlos. Late. Ok. I sometimes go to work late. Ajá. Uh -huh. Later es más tarde. Ok. Sí. Thank you, Carlos. Excellent example. ¿Alguien más? I normally watch TV. Sorry. Repeat, please. I normally watch TV. Ok. I normally watch TV. I don't normally watch TV. <laughs> In my case. Okay, thank you. Raúl, for your example, it's perfect. Anybody else? Alguien más? I often uh, had breakfast pupusas. Mm. Okay, pongamos breakfast como verbo, okay? I always, no, I often. Uh, I often uh, breakfast pupusas. Breakfast pupusas. Sí. Okay. En inglés así, se puede, se puede usar como verbo, no hay problema. Ok, seguimos. Thank you, thank you, Wilber. Perfect example. Se nos equivocó. Juanito, Juanito sometimes go, goes to the beach. Ok. He sometimes goes to the beach. Wilber se equivocó y era always. <ríe> no, eso, está bien. Eso. Uh, a veces. Hey. Oh, más que todo. Okay. Juanito goes to the beach. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Carlos, for your example. Seguimos, people. Vamos, vamos. Voluntarios. I usually visit my family. I usually visit my family. Reinaldo, bienvenido. Welcome. Okay. Seguimos, seguimos. People. Vamos, vamos. You can do this. Ustedes pueden. Vamos. She often goes to the beach. Goes, goes. Goes to the beach. Okay, thank you for your example, Silvia. Seguimos. Thank you, excellent. People, hello. Jonathan, go, Jonathan. I always brush my teeth okay i br i always brush my teeth okay excellent example people continue people i'm missing sandra fanny marcela andrea carlos ernesto yes i i never eat fish salty in holy week fish salty fish uh -huh. Bueno, lo que quiero decir es pescado salado. Al revés, salt, salty fish. Salty fish, ok. I never eat salty fish in Holy Week. No viven tortas de pescado. No. 
que es, es, es como común comer pescado salado o forrado. Yeah. ¿no? Uh -huh. Delicious. Eh. <risa> Delicious. No. <risa> no, ok. I don't like. You don't like. Ustedes no viven I don't like. en Salvador, viven en otro país. <risa> ok. Alba, yes. I always, always check in email. I always check the email. Ok, excellent. Thank you. Ok, nos falta, nos faltan bastantes personas. Ok, seguimos, people. Go. Yes, Karen, tell me. Ok, my coworkers and I frequently drink coffee in the morning. Ok, perfect. Frequently drink coffee in the morning. Ok, excellent. Let's continue. Nos falta Sandra. Uh, oh, okay. Go, Miss Ayala. He always work out at night. Come again, please. Repeat. He always work out at night. Works. Works. Sería unido. He works. Always works out uh -huh. at night. Así, exactly. Unimos ese, ese work, la S con, la, con el out, lo unimos. Works out. Works out. Okay, se une. Yes. All right. Funny. Yes, thank you. Leo, Andrea. You seldom drive to work. Se drive, drive. Sin S, drive. Drive. Okay. Right. okay, you seldom drive to work. Excellent example. Thank you. Andrea, Sofia, go. I always find horrible traffic. I'm sorry. <laughs> Me too. Well, no, 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 not always. Sometimes I sometimes get into this 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 uh, uh, traffic jam, which is tedious, tedious one. Okay. Thank you, Andrea. Perfect example. Seguimos. People, hello. Nos falta, nos falta. Hello. Hey, Hello. Marcela, go Marcela, Hello. thank you. I usually drink coffee and eat sweet breakfast. No, sweet bread, 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 bread. in the afternoon. Okay, okay. Perfect example, perfect example. Me too. Well, in my case, I rarely, rarely drink coffee in, in the afternoon. I don't normally do it. Right. Thank you for your example. Nos falta, nos falta Sandra, Ana, uh, Magdiel, yes, Maria, Arturo, Carlos Alemán. Uh, I sometimes, I sometimes, I'm sorry, sorry. I'm sometimes uh, I drink coffee in my lunch. No. Yes. It's delicious. Why yeah, not? It's delicious. Con la gran calor a esa hora, no, imposible. Why not? Imposible. <laughs> Mucha calor. It is too hot. No. A esa hora estoy sudando de, de, de la calor. Imagínese a tomar café. No. <laughs> ok. Good for you, people. Good for you. <laughs> Sandra, la interrumpimos. ¿Qué le contó? <laughs> I don't I use a makeup. Oh Repeat, cow. please. I sometimes use my cow. Use? Ah. Maquillaje. Eh, en ese caso no sería usar, sino que usamos los verbos que son wear, makeup, le diría makeup, makeup lo que va unido, no sé si va unido. No recuerdo. Vamos a decir, por, excuse me. No decimos use, decimos eso, eso que le mandé al chat. Okay, podemos decir wear, wear makeup, que es usar, en español, usar makeup o maquillaje, o puro, puro makeup, que es ponerse maquillaje o usar, también usar maquillaje mismo. Okay. okay. Thank you. Please. ¿Cuál, es, ¿Cuál es la diferencia? 
No, es prácticamente lo mismo. Wear es usar y purón es ponerse. Es casi lo mismo. ¿Y no. entre you? No, usar no. Usar no. Es que usar es que es... Uh, no sé cómo explicarlo, pero no, no es lo mismo. Ok, no es lo mismo. Es, es usarlo, pero en diferentes cosas, no, en, no como ponérselo en el rostro. Sino que ponérselo en el rostro ya está establecido que, que es uh, wear makeup o puro makeup, pero no use makeup. Es como vestir ropa, vestir ropa, decimos usar en español y use es usar en español, pero no usamos use, sino que usamos wear, que es uh, vestir o usar en español. Wear, wear a shirt. No decimos use a shirt. Sí, sí, podemos decir use a share, pero para cubrir el carro, para trapear o no sé, para secarse en la cara, pero no, no como ponérsela, ok, es diferente. Inglés. Ok, el inglés. Ok, seguimos, people. We continue. Martiel, hello. Ana, Marcela, hello. Arturo, Mr. Alemán, hello. Hello. Ah, hit me, hit me. Vamos a ver. I'm waiting, estoy esperando. Me hay teacher. Teacher. Teacher, me hay. Can you hear yes, me? Please, please go. Thanks. Uh, sometimes I use my cell phone to play uh, okay. in my work. Repitamos, I sometimes, oh, no, no, está bien, está bien, sorry, sorry. Yes, yes, it's okay, thank you very much. Okay, seguimos, seguimos. Ana? Reinaldo, hello? Maria? Me, okay. I often do exercise in the morning. Okay. I often do it in the morning. Okay, thank you very much for that. Yes. All right. Yes, Anna. ¿Cómo se pronuncia el primero? Always. Always. Hello. You hear me? Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Yo soy el zorro. All right, we're going to continue. Oh, one example from me. Um, I, always, I, always, I always watch anime. <laughs> Perfect example. Me too. Uh -huh. ¿Qué dijo me too? I Imposible, watch. No creo. Yeah, I like it. Okay, excellent, excellent. Ve esto que está acá. You know, uh, I, can, one piece. I can see you. It's one piece, one piece, one piece. Oh, one piece. Yeah, that's good. Um, that's good. I know better. Are you the hell one? Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, people, thank you for your example. You did a very good job. Hicieron un excelente trabajo. Okay, muy bien, excelente. Ahora, para finalizar, do you have, do you have any questions? If not, we continue. Si no hay preguntas, seguimos. No questions? No. Okay. Did we, did we finish this part? Hicimos esta parte, ¿verdad? Yes? Do you remember? ¿Se acuerdan? Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Here we go. And uh, well, let me close this. Okay.
I'm sharing the presentation again. Eso que acabamos de ver. Ok, yes. También hicimos esta parte, recuerdo. You remember this? Yes. Ok, vamos acá. I want you guys to tell me, quiero que me digan cuántas, cuántas frequency, how many frequency words you see in the paragraph. A ver si les encontramos las palabras de frecuencia acá o a bebé de frecuencia en el párrafo. ¿Cuántos ven? Si pueden hacer un círculo sobre él, perfecto. That would be perfect. You guys could, could like circle it or something or underline it. Excuse me. How many do you see? ¿Cuántos ven? Teacher, generally, no sería uno. Yes, of course. Generally, uh -huh. ¿Qué más? Five. Five. Which one? Five. Ah, okay, okay. Every 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 is not a frequency adverb, okay? Every day. Yeah, I know. No, no es una... una un adverbio. Esa es una, una expresión del tiempo. Es una time expression. Ok. Yes. Uh, well, let me see. Yes, we have always, often, generally, always, always again. Is that it? Yes, right. That's it. And down here we have more. We have never over here, often, never, usually, etc. Ok. Thank you guys for your participation there. Let's continue. Seguimos. Over here we have imperatives, okay, or, or commands or orders. Okay, se acuerdan que los imperativos son comandos, órdenes, okay, acá está. Okay, over here we have it over here. Imperatives and imperative is a verb plus a complement that expresses an order or command, okay. Un imperativo es un verbo más complemento que expresa una orden o un comando o lo que tenemos abajito acá en, en azul, ¿ok? Request, que es solicitud, obligation, prohibition, advice, warning, and instruction. Y luego dice, sometimes we place the word please before the imperative para hacerlo más suave, ¿ok? Ya que el imperativo es una orden, ¿ok? Es una orden. Uh, a veces uh, tiende a ser un poquito ruda esa orden o ese comando. Agregamos el please para hacerlo más suave. Ok. Yes. Aunque ya hay comandos estandarizados que no requieren please. Por ejemplo, no eating, no smoking, no uh, dancing, no dancing, no, no cell phones, ok, entre otros. Esos son comandos ya diferentes. All right. Very good. Ahora. Tenemos acá uh, imperatives, more about this. It says here, commands are direct instructions or orders to do something. Use please plus the command to sound more polite. Para sonar más educado o más, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, más educado, digamos. Okay. Yes, yes please. Me. Sorry? No, okay. Please place an order for more boxes. Por ejemplo, call the supervisor, please. Si usamos please al principio, no coma. Si lo usamos al, al, al final, usamos una coma para separarlo del comando. Ok. Uh, examples, please go to the clinic with my sister. Feed the dogs, please. Give your boss the report. Organize your desk. Think about your family. Do your homework. Clean your room. Pick up your toys. Ok, si es negativo, ¿qué hacemos? Le ponemos el don't. Ok, el don't. Nunca usamos el doesn't, así como lo dijimos la semana pasada. No, sí, semana pasada. Yes, last week. Ok, negative imperatives. Don't eat all food. Don't drink when you drive. Don't make fun of your friends. Don't abandon your children. 
don't play. Okay, no, that's not bad. Okay, don't call your ex. Don't spoil your kids. Okay. Luego tenemos acá this part, but we're not going to do that yet. Vamos a regresar acá. Vamos a trabajar en esta parte, okay? Over here. Vamos a ver. I want you guys to do the next thing. Okay. Okay, agenda, okay? Agenda, I, I forgot about this. Okay, agenda, we can also use it for agenda. I mean, use imperatives for agendas. All right. Vamos a usar, vamos a usar el de instrucciones y agenda, eso los últimos dos, okay? Y vamos a elegir um, cualquier cosa, a, a meeting, a reunion, uh, ¿qué más podemos hacer? Yeah, a meeting, a reunion for the, for the agenda, okay? También usaremos instructions de cualquier cosa, okay? Quiero que escriban cinco, en orden, del, primer, del principio hasta el final, instrucciones para un producto o cualquier cosa, dispositivo, un producto o un proceso, cualquier cosa, ¿ok? Que, que requiera instrucciones. Cinco, ¿ok? Cinco instrucciones. Yes. De una sola cosa. O una agenda es con cinco, cinco cosas que harán en una reunión, en una celebración, en una fiesta, en un funeral, en cualquier cosa, un evento, ¿ok? Yes. Please. Go. Did you guys finish?
Who's ready? ¿Quién está listo? Vamos. Teacher, ¿cómo se debería condimentar al gusto? Sorry. Season to your taste. In the chat, season to your taste. Okay. Teacher. Yes. No entendí muy bien. ¿Puede volver a repetir? Por yes. Favor? Vamos a escribir cinco, cinco, bueno, elegiremos un producto, un proceso, cualquier cosa que requiera instrucciones y vamos a escribir cinco instrucciones de ese producto de principio a final o una agenda, ya sea de un, bueno, de cualquier evento, ¿ok? Usando comandos solamente. Ok. Eh, Los comandos, eh, need to, o tú. No, ¿cómo dice? ¿Qué comandos serán los que vamos a usar? Usted decide. Usted decide qué comandos utilizar. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay. I just sent uh, an example in the chat. Esa es a weird example, okay? De una boda. Cualquier cosa, por ejemplo, si, si usted quiere este, uh, ponerse una crema en su rostro, lo primero que hace es, no sé, uh, wash your face, lavarse la cara, ese es un, un comando, okay? Lavarse la cara. Otro comando sería. Rob es, es uh, frotar, right, in Spanish, algo. The cream, uh, spread the cream. Finish. The cream on, on your hands. Tres sería rub it on your face or wash your hands y por último number five will be close the okay Ahí sería una instrucción sencilla de poner de, de una, una crema. Ok, dice, bueno, número uno tenemos uh, wash your face, que es lavarse la, la, el rostro. Segunda es uh, esparcir la crema en sus manos. Luego rub it, rub it es, es uh, frotar okay, en, la, en el rostro. Luego lavarse las manos y luego poner la crema en un lugar seguro. Ok, yes. All right, very good, excellent. Vamos a ver, ¿quién quiere compartir? Who wants to share? ¿Quién quiere compartir? Compartire, compartiremos todos, no se preocupen, ¿ok? Ya que es práctica, vamos a compartir. Ay. Thank you, Yair. Go, please. Y sleeping instructions. <risa> eh, close the door of the house. Ok. Eh, brush the teeth. Eh, go, to, go to the room. Uh, turn off the lights and close the eyes. <laughs> it's typical. 
<laughs> okay, actually, if I don't, if I don't put it in the elevator, like turn on the, the, the fan or turn on the AC, open the window, open the air, okay? Yes. Ah, uh, uh, here, right, está lloviendo, así que no hay problema. Oh, okay, yeah, it is, it's okay then. It's perfect for you. Okay, thank you. You're excellent. Very creative. Muy creativo, okay. okay. Another Teacher. one? Yes, yes, please. Eh, bueno, ahí voy. Eh, instruction <laughs> for, uh, for the drive. Please check oil and water levels. Mm -hmm. Check tire air pressure and water level. Tire air pressure. Pressure. Air pressure. Sí, mm -hmm. Pressure. Please don't forget to wear your seat belt. To put on. Así ponerse. Cinturón de seguridad. Sí, de operar sería ponerse. Put on. Ah, perdón. Entonces sería, please don't forget to put on your cell belt. Mm -hmm. No. Ok. Eh, at all time, check the mirrors and the review mirror. Y eso tengo. Ok, that's ok. It's perfect. Thank you very much, Cesar, for, for, uh, for your instructions. I will apply them tomorrow. Take them, take them into account tomorrow. Yes. Alguien más? Thank you. We continue, people. May I, teacher? Yes, please. Thanks. This is, uh, this is the, the instruction to do the activity in computer class. Number one, turn off your computer. Number two, open your favorite browser. Number three, search in Google Scology. Number four, log in the platform with your, with your username and password. And number five, search the computer course to do the homework. Okay, perfect. Yes, thank you very much for your example. Excellent, easy, right? Easy, very easy. Okay, Alguien más? Thank you, Carlos. Anybody else? Me. Go, Silvia. Thank you. How to make macaron? One, boil water. Two, open the package of macaron. Three, put the macaron in the boiling water. Four, wait 10 minutes. Five, season to your taste. Okay. Yes, yes, thank you very much for that. Excellent. Now I'm going to I'm going to prepare that tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I will. Okay. Thank you, Silvia. Anybody else? Alguien más? People, people, go. Uh Joe? Yes, please. Sure. Es una receta de limonada. Mm -hmm. Limonada recipe. recipe. One check for lemon. Mm -hmm. You use a glass for water. Three, skewer the lemon. Four, sure. and sugar. Six, uh, streak the lemon. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. Thank you very much for your lemonade recipe. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we continue. Alguien más? Carlos Ernesto, thank you. Go, please. Um, and the product is um, drill. The first is real instruction, charge battery, don't leave nearly to, to children. Use case no, number eight. Um, pot, pot, pot drill perpendicular. Yes, you finish? Yes. Okay, thank you very much, Carlos, for sharing. Well done, well done. Seguimos, people.
Yes, please. Go, Rosemary. <laughs> Esperando ahí la, la señal. Este, también y instructions for to sleep. For sleeping. For sleeping. Uh, put on the favorite pijama. Pijama? Yes, pijamas. Okay. Clean your face with soap. Mm -hmm. Wash your teeth. Go to the bathroom. <laughs> um, wash your hands. Go to the bed. Do the prayer. Count some chips and sleep. Okay. Uh, you said wash your teeth. Es, no, no está bien. Es brush. 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 Brush es cepillarse. Wash es lavar. Yes. Lava los dientes. Es español saliente. Thanks. Okay. No problem. Yes. Thank you, Rosemary, for sharing. Excellent. Alguien más? People. Go, people. Guys, hello, guys. Are you there? Are you here? Okay, elijo entonces. Uh, let me see. Wilbert, hi. Sorry, teacher. Uh, right, please. Uh, two. Listen to the music. Three. We have the dinner. Four. Don't sleep at classroom. Uh, five. Turn up the computer. Six. Never get up. Seven and the last X you turn to drive. Okay. okay, there you go. Thank you very much, Wilbur, for sharing. Excellent. Seguimos. Uh, let's continue. Maria. Hello, Maria. You finish? Hello, teacher. Uh, okay, I tried. Um, party night instruction. <laughs> okay, let me see. Um, select a big room, mm -hmm. hire a good chef for the food, mm -hmm. and select a professional bartender. Uh -huh. Try try to invite only 15 persons. Okay. Put a lot of kind of music. And finally, don't forget to take the gift. <laughs> okay, okay, it's perfect, it's perfect, yes. yes. Okay, thank you, Maria, for your example, for your participation. Drink beer. <laughs> drink, drink, exactly, get beer. All right. Uh, well, nos falta Karen, Carlos, Jose, Josué, so sorry, Reynaldo, Ana. Carlos Alemán, Raúl, Marcela, Fanny, Jonathan, Andrea, Mira. I'm not sure it's that good. Thank you, Chuck. Hi, can you hear me? Mm, it, it sounds a little different, but yeah, I can hear you. Oh, wait, I changed my microphone. Wait a moment. Your teacher. Okay, Dele. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Um, play the guitar instructions. Take the guitar out of the case. Plug in at amplifier. Fine tune the guitar according to skull. Play the guitar and save it. 
Okay, okay. Thank you very much for your example. Let's continue. Arthur, Antonio, Mr. Aleman, Karina. Okay, Jonathan. Thank you, Jonathan. Go. Okay. Um, instructions for wash your hands. Okay, to wash your hands, okay. And number one, wet your hands with clean water. Mm -hmm. And lather your hands with the soap. Scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds. And number four, rinse your hands. And number five, dry your hands using a clean towel. Okay, yes, excellent. Thank you, Jonathan, for your information. Perfect, thanks. Seguimos, people, anybody else? Alguien más? Teacher, yo di las instrucciones para encontrar. Ya me fue de Thank you. Okay, Arturo, go. Okay, watch your clothes. And go to the school. Play the guitar mm -hmm. and clean your bathroom. Okay, okay. You finish? Yes. Okay. Thank, yes. You, thank you, Arturo, for sharing. Yes. Uh, los que faltan. Quienes faltan? Bueno, Andrea. Ana. Sí. Yes. Karen. Go, please. Yeah. Can you hear me very well? Yes, I can hear you now. Hear you better. Okay. I don't know what's happened. Okay, I will try to explain how to make an omelette. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first one is season the bacon eggs well with a salt and paper. And heat the oil and the butter in a non stick frying pan over a medium low heat until the butter has melted and is forming. And put the eggs into the pan. Heat uh, the pan ever so slowly from one side to another to allow the eggs to sweat and cover the surface of the pan completely and add cheese and jam, um, jam. I forgot that word. Uh, flip the omelet, serve and enjoy. Okay, yes, thank you. It sounds delicious. <laughs> okay, <Yeah. laughs> thank you, thank you for your example, Karen. Thanks. Andrea, Sofia, go please, thank you. Okay, uh, don't open the door. Uh, let's go play outside. Outside. Uh, slow down. Uh, pass the salt. Uh, stay where I can see you. Uh, enjoy your meal. Uh, stand up. Call this number. Uh, only. Okay. Only that. All right. Thank you very, very much for sharing. All right. Who's missing? Quien falta? Fanny? Fanny? Yes, Go, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, pan, uh, pancake instruction. instruction. One, put, put a cut of, of flour in a bowl. Two, add 
and it, and it in a cup of milk, three of the butter, uh, four of uh, the mixture, five uh, calentar the pancake, ¿cómo se dice? Como calentar el pancake. Calent eat the eat. pancake. Yes. Uh, sit, sería eat the pancake. Okay. Finish. Delicious. Okay. Uh, we are going to continue. Thank you guys for your participation. Yes, let me erase this info over here. Yes, here we go. Okay, and we continue with the next part. I was thinking about doing this part later on, but okay. Haremos esta parte más tarde, okay. How to use uh, need to and have to, como usar need to y como usar have to. Ya casi sabemos cómo se usa. Okay, we use need to to express necessity, okay, things that we need probably with our family, in the house, okay, yes. Uh, the structure or to create sentences using need to, it's the way we have here. Es sujeto más need to, luego del need to usamos un verbo que se llama infinitivo, no verbo, sino que infinitivo. Luego el complemento, okay. Acá está el ejemplo, sujeto I, need to, es, está need to, learn, es el infinitivo o el verbo. Luego learn, in, uh, English, sorry, is the complement. You need to eat in a healthy way. She needs to clean her room. He needs to repair his car. You need to take an umbrella. We need to drink coffee in the afternoon. They need to dance in the party, okay? Para tercera persona, quiere decir she, he, and it, Acá usamos la S en needs. Okay. Acá está. For third person, she, he, and it. We use the S in the verb need, which equals to needs. Needs. Okay. Luego tenemos have to. We use have to to express. We use have to to express obligation. Okay. Subject plus have to plus verb plus complement. Examples. I have to pay my bills. You have to uh, put the seatbelt on. Delmi has to wear formal clothes. The security guard has to stay by the door. The accountant has to have exact numbers and stores have to do an annual inventory. For the third person, she, he, and it, we change have to to has to. Examples, she has to, he has to, and it has to. Okay, así sería, all right? Yes. Entonces, so, need to expresses <coughs> necessity. Ok, necessity. Ok, necesidad. Si queremos, lo hacemos o no. Ok, our decision. Have to es obligación. We, it expresses obligation. Podríamos dejar de hacerlo, pero traería consecuencias bastante feas. Ok, entonces, have to expresa obligación. Ahora, Para el negativo usamos don and doesn't en ambos, ya sea need to and have to. Ok, aquí está. We use don't have to with the subject pronouns. <coughs> Excuse me. I, you, we, and they in plural subjects. In plural subjects. Hold on. Acá está. We use don't have to with the subject pronouns. I, you, we, they in the plural subjects. I don't have to, we, you don't have to, we don't have to, they don't have to, the teachers don't have to, Juan and Maria don't have to. We use doesn't have to with the subject pronouns she, he, and it, and singular subjects. She doesn't have to, he doesn't have to, it doesn't have to, the doctor doesn't have to, and my sister doesn't have to. Note, we don't use has to when we use doesn't. Examples down here, I don't have to call my boss. Helen doesn't have to check the report and Peter, Peter and Mark don't have to guard the door. Need to and needs to, 
We use don't need to with the subject pronouns. Aquí está mal escrito. It's o, o, U, okay. I, you, we, they, and plural subjects. We use don't, sorry, we use doesn't need to with the subject pronouns she, he, and it as singular subjects. I don't need to, you don't need to, we don't need to, et cetera, et cetera. She doesn't need to, he doesn't need to, my, my sister doesn't need to. Examples, you don't need to go to the school. She doesn't need to prepare food. He doesn't need to buy salt and we don't need to give to the poor. Okay, yes. People, questions, preguntas. Guys, do you have any questions? People, questions, preguntas. No questions? Okay, that is perfect. To continue with the practice, to continue with the practice now, what we're going to do is the following. This one, esta tomará un poquito más de tiempo. Okay. Uh, haremos, we're going to write five examples with need to and five examples with have to. Cinco ejemplos con need to y cinco con have to. Have to, it's going to be about your company. Es su compañía, el have to. And need to is going to be about your house. Okay. Ya que need to es una necesidad, hagamos los ejemplos de la casa o del hogar. Y el have to es obligación, hagámoslo del trabajo. Ok, yes. Ejemplo podría ser, uh, en mi casa, of, of my house can be, uh, I need to clean the kitchen. Ok, I need to clean the, the, clean the kitchen. Uh, work en el trabajo sería, I have to send emails to clients, okay? Five examples with need to and five examples with have to.
Did you guys finish? Not yet. Not yet? Wait. Yeah, I'll be watching you. How do you write uh, co co workers, compañero? Co workers, co workers. Chat, go to the chat, you will find it there. Thank you. So finish. Okay, thank you. Finish. <clears throat> okay. Uh, for the ones that finished, can you please share? The ones that finished, the, uh, can you guys share, please? Me. Go, please. Go. Yes, Sylvia, go. Leo Karen. Me too. I need to drink water. I need to organize my shoes. I need to cook dinner. I need to take a shower. I need to turn off the light. But I have to, okay. I have to 
check emails. I have to answer answer message. I yes. have to solve doubts. I have to answer call. I have to go to meetings. Okay, That's I have to go to meetings. All right, thank you very much for that. Let's continue. Karen, Leo and Rosemary. And I have to prepare the exams. I have to check the homeworks. And I have to pass this card to the secretary. I have to show my file to my boss. And I have to study for the class. Mm -hmm. And I need to clean the bathroom. I need to wash the dishes. I need to feed the pets. I need to organize my room and I need to rest at home. Okay, okay. Yes, thank you very much for sharing. Rosemary, Leo Carlos, Leo Cesar. Thank you. Thanks. You have to call clients today. He has to go to the meeting at 3 p.m. She has to type in emails for her boss. I have to arrive early. We have to improve our goals and need to. I need to buy some vegetables. My mother needs to prepare the dinner. My brother needs to do his homeworks. I need to order my bedroom. I need to wash the dishes. Okay. Thank you very much. Vegetables. Okay, vegetables. All right, thank you. Come vegetables. 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 Carlos Ernesto, go, Carlos. I, I have to sign document. I have to attend meeting. I have to analyze finance statement. She was she has to write memo. And she has to show budget to co-workers. Mm -hmm. I need I need to wake up early. You need to, to check medical exam. They need to eat heavily. He needs to drink water. Okay, okay, that's that's perfect. Yes, thank you very much, Carlos. Cesar Moreno, go please. Thanks, teacher. I have to attend my cell phone. Every job, everyone has to mark the a target when starting starting work. Mm -hmm. I have to clean my desk. I have to visit clients. I have to prepare the coaches. I need to change, change the roof. Uh, I need to watch the car weekly. I need to take out the trash every Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh, I need Wednesday. I need to go shopping every end of the month. I need to earn more money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think we all we all need to earn more money. Okay. Thank you, Senator, for sharing. We'll better go. I need to make exercise. I need to walk. Oops, perdón, me equivoqué. No sé por qué le puse pupusas. I, I le puse pupusas, pero no sé por qué. I need to walk to pupusas. Le puse. No sé por qué, me perdí. Uh, I need to watch the movie at night. I need to shower my parrot. I need to buy cable service. Uh, I have to type reports. 
I have to visit clients. I have to finish the route. I have to answer the call. I have to help my co-worker. Okay, pongámosle, pongámosle el tú, se lo pido el tú. I have to, I have to, I have to a todas, okay? Yes, please. All right, seguimos, we continue. Uh, Miguel, go, please. Hello. Um, I have to, to do a report every day. Mm -hmm. I have to turn on the computer. I have to recite call of the receive. of the clients. Receive. Receive. I have to receive call of the clients. I have to start work at 7.30 a.m. <clears throat> and I have to turn off the computer day and. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you very much for sharing. I need, I need, next, I need to get up early. Mm -hmm. I need to have breakfast pupusas. I need to clean my room. I need to drink a cup of coffee in the morning. I need to watch a movie. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, Miguel, for sharing. Seguimos, alguien más? Anybody else? Hey, I teacher. Yes, please, go. Okay, I have two. I have to take attendance in class. I have to grade assignments. I have to prepare exams. I have to teach. I have to assign homework. I need to. I need to sleep. I so tired. I need to wash my clothes. I need to prepare breakfast. I need to wake up at 5.30 a.m. tomorrow. I need to put my pyjama. Okay, okay, there you go, there you go. Excellent, thank you very much for your examples. Seguimos. People? Anybody else? Hola, yo. Oh, please, thank you. Um, I have to clean my desk. I have to arrive at my work early. I have to check my email. I have to check the tracking. I have to drink water and coffee. Um, I need to cook the breakfast. I need to clean my living room and the kitchen. I need to cook the lunch of my husband. I need ba bath, no sé cómo se pronuncia, pero bathroom, my bath. I need bath my dog. O sea, bañar a mi perro. ¿Cómo? Bath. ¿Cómo? Bath. Bath. I need bath my dog. Uh, my husband need wash the clothes. Okay. When do... Okay. Anybody else? Andrea, go, please. Um, I need to call her back. I need to watch TV series. I need to sleep. I need eight hours a day. Uh, I need to take some vacation. I need to buy some shoes. And they need to exercise more and you have to call the clients tomorrow and they have to help you with your work and we have to be at the meeting next next week i have to work tonight and the secretary has to send information by email. Okay, okay, there you go. Thank you very much for your examples. Alguien más, anybody else? Hi, Hi teacher. Okay, uh, okay, primero Carlos Josue y luego Jair. Go, please. Thank okay. you. Okay, hello, teacher. 
I have to submit information to my boss. I have purchased supplies for the build. Juanita has to call 100 clients tomorrow. Juanito has to complete the report, the report Friday. I have to respond to the superintendents. Superintendents. Ooh. I need to feed my cat. I need to drink water. I need to take the clothes to the laundry. I need to have breakfast early. I need to cook meat Saturday. Okay, okay, there you go. Thank you for sharing. Uh, thank you, Mr. Pascasio. Let's continue. Let's continue. Jair, go. Okay, uh, I need to visit my family. I need to cook in the morning. She needs to buy shoes. He needs to eat pupusa in the night. Uh, my mother needs to learn English. Learn English. Learn, okay. Yes. okay. I, I, I had to prepare file. I had to answer phone. He has to send email commerce. She has to improve pro processes. Process. I had to process. I had to drink coffee because it is fine and necessary. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, you are right. Thank you uh, for sharing, Jair. Excellent. Uh, we are going to continue. Alguien más que me ha compartido? Anybody else? Okay, teacher. Uh, I, need Carlos, Maria, okay. Go. I need to drink Coca Cola. I need to drink coffee. I need to clean my shoes. I need to buy a new clothes. I need to change my good hair. I have to make a report every day. I have to visit my client. I have to take a shower. I have to go to the work at 8 o'clock p.m. And I have to Excuse me, excuse me. I have to change my job. Okay, yes. Okay, thank you, Raul, for sharing. Excellent. Maria, continue, please. Okay. I need to prepare the garden. I need to tidy my room. I need to buy more clothes. I need to paint my house. And I need to buy more food for my pet. And I have to check around 13 documents. I have to leave my phone in the locker. I have to respect my lunch schedule. And I had to get to work early. Okay. Thank you, Maria, for sharing. Alba? No. Yeah. I need to wash my clothes. Clothes. I need to explain the house. I need to claim the bathroom. I need to help. Yeah, I need to sleeping. I have to a meeting on Monday. I have to go. I have to order the fields. I have to update the employment system. I have to the lunch. Okay. Yes. Thank you. 
Ok, thank you guys for your participation. Aquí vamos a, hacer, a dejarlo. Vamos a seguir con una parte que está en la página número. Page number. Página 28. Page 28. Page 28, ok. We are going to work on uh, something real quick, ok. Here. Vamos con uh, or denial numbers. Ok. Vamos a trabajar en algo que se llama ordinal numbers. Let me give you a definition here on ordinal numbers. Uh, or Ok, los números ordinales son aquellos que terminan en las siguientes letras. Ok, lo pueden ver bien, no sé si se lo veo, veo. aquí se ve, se ve bien feo. Sí, se ve. Seguro que eso se, se ve bien. Se ve como que está borroso. Ya se la mayor. Y sí, así se ve borroso. ¿Verdad que sí? Se ve borroso. No sé por qué se, se hace así. I don't really know. No entiendo esto. Entonces. Lo mismo. It's basically the same. Ok, no sé qué. I don't know what's happening here. Ok. But the point is that all the numbers are those that end in the following letters. Terminan en, uh, comúnmente terminan en TH. Ok, sí. TH, ST, ND y RD. All right, that's how they end. Así es la terminación de los números ordinales. Ok, TH, ST, ND y RD. Este TH es el más común. Ok, ese es el más común. I don't understand. Okay. Examples, examples here. Let me show you how this works. Examples con TH. Bueno, lo más común en el primero es ST. Okay. Yes. Segundo, ND. Tercero, RD. Y los demás van con TH. Ok. Yes. Ok. Primero, segundo, tercero, cuarto, quinto, sexto, séptimo, octavo, noveno y décimo. Okay. Uh, sería uh, first. Ok. First, over here will be second, here, third. Ok, termina en esta letra que están acá por la terminación de la palabra. Ok, third, second, and first. Aquí sería fourth. Ok, fourth, over here we'll say fifth. Sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Uh, pro, la, de, de cuatro en adelante pronunciamos la letra T como Z. 
Okay. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Okay. Así dirían. Uh, esa, esa, S, T, N, D y R, D comúnmente solamente es para 1, 2 y 3. Ok, para 1, 2 y 3. Eso no aplica para 11, 12 y 13. Ok, no aplica para esos tres números. 11, 11 va con T, H, T, H y también T, H. Son las únicas excepciones. Ok, 11. Ok. 12, okay, see, 12 and 13, 13, luego sería 14, 14 igual, 14 con TH, TH, Luego tenemos acá, ahí se sí aplicaría 21, 22 y 23. Si sí aplica la regla de la ST, ND y RD. Ok. Eso es para las fechas, ok. Para las fechas. Recordemos, siempre grabamos la TH y se pronuncia esa TH como Z. Ok, aquí uh, se escribe el número 14, ok, 14. Sería así, 14, luego el 14, 15, 6, 15, etc. Aquí sería 20, 20, first. Aquí sería 20, second. And 20. Third. Ok. También aplica para 31. Si es del mes. Ok. Sería 30. First. Ok. O si seguimos con otra que en el calendario sería 30. Uh, 32nd, 33rd. Ok, ese 1, 2, 3 no aplica solamente para los que están acá arriba. Ahí sí no aplica. En lo demás sí aplica. Ok, para el 40, 50, 60, etc. Ok, sí. People, do you understand? ¿Entendemos? Yes. 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 Do you have any questions? No. No, ok. Entonces, para las fechas usamos esto, ok. No decimos, no decimos, uh, por ejemplo, no decimos mañana es 12, decimos en español. Uh, tomorrow is May 12. No, 12. Tomorrow is May 12. Ok, con la TH. Yes. Teacher. Okay. Yes, ajá. Uh -huh. Tell me. También para las, las direcciones se usa, ¿verdad? Direcciones de calles. Sí, sí, sí. Quinta, es como se dice, como primera, segunda, tercera, quinta avenida, no sé qué. Yes. Esa también aplica. Okay. All right. Let me stop sharing then. Y vamos a hacer una práctica. Eso lo encontramos en la página 28. Ok. Ahí están unas, unas cuantas cosas. But we're not going to uh, go to that part. Vamos a, les mostraré una conversación. Esta que está acá. Ok. ¿La pueden ver? Yes. 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 Sí, sí, yo. Yes. Ok. Leo yes. y luego, luego practicamos. Ok. Unas preguntas que le voy a poner. Says, uh, hey, Liliana, how are you? Hello, Mauricio. I'm fine. And you? You don't look so happy. Are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm going to have a very busy month starting tomorrow. 
Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. What are some activities you'll be doing? I have a lot to do. On June the 17th, well, actually, no, 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 diría así, no, no, sé, no, sé, no, diría con esa entidad. On June 17th, I have to prepare the Father's Day, Father's Day event for my co-workers. Then on June 22nd, I have to celebrate Teacher's Day at my kids' school. Wow, they sound like big events. Have you prepared anything? Yes, I have, but what I have is pretty similar and I don't know what to change. Do you need any ideas? You're a lifesaver, thank you. Okay, as you can see acá, tenemos el junio 22 y junio 17 serían con uh, números ordinales, okay? Quiere decir para calendarios o fechas serían números ordinales. All right, excellent. Eso lo mostraré más o menos la conversación de cómo se aplicarían los números ordinales. Ahora, les mandaré unas preguntas al chat que quiero que vayamos respondiendo. Ok. Para comenzar, las que están ahí. Ok. Individually, las que están ahí, respondámoslas. Tenemos una, dos, tres, cuatro, creo que son. Ok. Sí, déjenme nomás. Teacher, vamos a contestar eso según el diálogo que acabamos de ver, ¿verdad? No, 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 no. Eso, eso que, estamos, que vamos a responder es al azar, ¿ok? Usted ponga la fecha que usted considere. Sí, son, son uh, preguntas así uh, abiertas, ¿ok? Excepto algunas que están ahí que son ya más específicas.
teacher. Yes. What does mean Memorial Day? Ah, Memorial Day is Dia de los Difuntos. Thanks. Yes. Let me know when you finish, people. I finished, teacher. Okay, thank you, Carlos.
did you guys finish terminaron Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm going to ask the first question. When is the meeting? ¿Alguien que pueda responder? When is the meeting? The meeting is 12th May. Is? 12th May. Es al revés. May 12th. Okay. I, I forgot, I forgot to tell you that we use on. No les, se me olvidó decirles que tenemos que usar on Luego el mes, así como está el formato que les mandé aquí en el chat, usamos el on, luego el mes, luego la fecha. On June 25th. Okay, usamos ese on, okay, que significa el. No se usa is. Sí, 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 se usa. The, the meeting is it. on. May, May 12. 12, exactly, 12. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you for your example. La segunda pregunta dice, alguien que la responda, when do you visit clients? I visit clients the second day of every week. Okay, the second day of every week. Okay, okay, the second day of every week. That sounds perfect. Uh, then we have another question. Do you pay your, sorry, when do you pay your bills? Can anybody? May I teach her? Yes, of course. <clears throat> yes. Okay. I pay my bill per month. No sé si así se dice. Could you please, could you please repeat? I could not put something there in the initial. I pay my bill per mm -hmm. month. Repito una vez más. Oh, okay. Y I say, uh, I pay my bill per month. Oh, no. On the first of the month. On the first month. Okay. Thanks. On the first of the month. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much for sharing, Carlos. Then we have another question. Uh, when is your birthday, people? When is your birthday? May I? Yes, please. My birthday is on August 26. <laughs> yeah. My, my birthday, my birthday, oh, tengo tres fechas, tres fechas especiales en, en, en junio. On uh, June 17th is uh, Father's Day, right? On June 21st or 22nd, Dia del Maestro? 21, 22, 22nd, right? 22nd. 22nd. Yes, Teacher's Day. And on uh, 26th, 26th is my birthday. Oh. Yes, tres fechas. Y ningún regalo, brother. That's oh, okay. No problem. <laughs> okay. Three givings in one. Y ningún regalo. Ok. I'm going to prepare a party. Uh, thank you, please. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, thank you. When is your anniversary, people? When is your anniversary? My anniversary. June. On June. Sorry. Yes. Um, uh, June 15th. Yes, I think, right? June 15th? Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Fernando, for sharing. 
Uh, next question, la siguiente pregunta es, oh, when do North Americans celebrate independence? Silvia, thank you. On 4th of July. Okay, they celebrate, they celebrate independence on the 4th of July, oh. on July 4th. Okay, thank you. When, next question, people, when do Salvadorians celebrate Memorial Day? The Salvadorians celebrate Memorial Day on second, November 2nd. On November 2nd, yes. Okay, thank you. Y la última, when do you get paid? ¿Cuándo les pagan? <laughs> Guys, when do you get paid? My salary is 20, 28. 28, okay. Yes, okay. Very good. Okay, people, you, you've done a very good job. You did a very excellent job, so. Excellent, all right. Very good, very good. Thank you for your participation. Okay, we are going to continue. With the attendance, seguimos con la asistencia. Okay, no. Do you guys have any questions, preguntas? Dudas? Not for the moment. No. no. Not for the moment, all right. Okay, vamos a ver. Actualizamos la asistencia. Okay, Alba Janet Jiménez Cabrera. Present teacher. No. Ana. Ana Marcela Arqueta Santos. Present teacher. Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Carlos Josué Pastacio García. Present teacher. Catherine Alexandra Lozano Ramírez. No. César Arquímedes. César es Arquímedes o Arquímedes. Arquímedes, con I. Con I. Acá la he puesto con E. No. Eh, present teacher. Arquímedes. Ok. Uh, Jonathan Mauricio Galvez Juárez. No, ok. José Jair Lobo Pérez. Present. <clears throat> Magdiel Esaú Morales, García Morales. Present teacher. Marcela Karina Melgar Alas. Present teacher. Margarita Rosemary Pérez Ayala. Present. María José Hernández Auceda. Present teacher. Raúl Arturo Esquivel Medina. Present teacher. Reinaldo Antonio Fernández Acevedo. Present teacher. Sandra Yanira Ayala Jiménez. Present teacher. Silvia Guadalupe Romero Montoya. Present. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present. Juan y Judith Palacios de Oliva. Present teacher. Karen Yamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. And uh, Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Your teacher. ¿Quién fue el último que se quedó? Si no me equivoco, fue uh, Marcela Karina. Right, Marcela? Yes. El día lunes, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. De acuerdo a esto, entonces el siguiente es Rosemary Ayala. 
today, el día de today, el día de hoy. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, people, okay, people, uh, remember you have to finish the platform today and you have to finish the, the test, the midterm today. Hacer el examen de medio mes y también poner al día la plataforma, okay? Yes. Sí. Hey, teacher. All right, very good. Then I will see you guys tomorrow. Que descansen, buenas noches y se cuidan. Okay. Good waiting for this person to leave. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, Alba is sleepy. <laughs> it's a possibility. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Oh, no. Okay. How are you, Rosemary? I'm tired. Se le nota. Se ve chinita. Okay. <laughs> Rosemary, do you have any questions? Tenemos uh, approximately eight minutes to clear any questions, confusion, preguntas de los temas que hemos visto, temas aparte. Quizás. Quizás sobre el, el, el hub to, yo creo que mencionaba en algún momento que el negativo para ese como que no, no era igual. Si yeah. mal no recuerdo. It is true. Ajá, nos había puesto en la, en la diapositiva que para la obligación no aplicaba lo negativo, nos había puesto como, como un apartado, pero al final era como que normal, para pero, 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 pero no entendí esa parte, que por qué no era igual. Ok, tenemos acá, o oh, oh. Ok, uh, básicamente expresa obligación. Aunque en algunos libros también aparece como obligación personal de uno, que es de uno, no solamente de trabajo o algo legal, sino que de personal, ¿ok? También. En general, obligación, ¿ok? También necesidad, pero ahí dejémoslo. Eh, example, I have to. No, no, no. She has to. She has to. She has to wear. And a uniform. Ok. Y ahí tiene que usar uniforme, ok. En muchas compañías es una obligación. El negativo, she does, doesn't have to wear a uniform. Ok. En este caso, la primera, la afirmativa es una obligación. Ahí no sería a N. No, no. No. <ríe> no. No, no o sea, porque empieza con vocal y uniform. Yes. Tiene razón. Pero no aplica. Ah. <ríe> Sorry. Este, ya le explico esa parte, ok. De eso, muy, muy bien, muy bien. Para que entienda más o menos cómo es. Ok. She has to wear a uniform, obligación, tiene que ponerse un uniforme, no tiene opción, ¿ok? No tiene opción, tiene que ponérselo sí o sí, ¿ok? Si no se lo pone, puede que le llamen atención o le suceda algo. En el siguiente dice, she doesn't have to wear a uniform, a, a uniform. Ella no, no, no tiene que ponerse un uniforme, ¿ok? Quiere decir que en este caso, 
there is an option. Tiene la opción de no hacerlo. Ok, quiere decir que no es obligación. Ok, no tiene que hacerlo. Ok, así básicamente. Si es afirmativo o, o pregunta, obligación. Si es negativo, es, uh, si, se le llama lack of necessity, que es falta de necesidad. Entonces no hay necesidad. Así es. Ok. okay. Lo de la A, ok, le, le explico si quieres. Okay. Tenemos la A y la AN, son artículos, se llaman artículos. Ok. Artículos indefinidos se llaman, más específicamente. Ok. Acá dice, usamos, usamos la A para palabras que inician con una consonante, right? Yes. Es lo que, lo, lo que muchos libros dicen. Pero la verdad es consonante. It's a, with a consonant sound. Es con un sonido de consonante. No la consonante en sí, sino que un sonido de consonante. ¿Ok? ¿Sí? Uh, ya, por ejemplo, tenemos uh, honesto. Si le pronunciamos, decimos honest. No decimos la H como en house. La H en house sí se pronuncia como ha, house. En honesto, no. Es honest. No decimos honest. Decimos honest. So, en este caso, aplicaríamos uh, en, okay? aunque lleve, una, aunque, aunque lleve una, 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 ¿cómo se llama? Una consonante. Ahora, luego veremos esa parte, ok. Uniform. Como un ejemplo acá, una pelota. Ball, ok. Consonante, la B, consonante. A uniform. Uniform se pronuncia, esta, esta U se pronuncia con J, U. Ah, okay. o, o con Y, digamos, U. En realidad la, se pronuncia con, es la fonética, es J. Ok, U. No es, no es uniform, uniform. Lo que es uniform, uniform. So sería a uniform. También aplica con universidad a, a university. University. En umbrella, en el caso de un, eso ya es, es diferente. ¿no? Umbrella, que es sombrilla, ya no es umbrella, es umbrella. Entonces en ese caso ya es una A. No es, no es la, okay? en ese caso sería en umbrella. Son palabras bien específicas. Ok. Sí. Ahora, la AN se usa. We use it with the uh, or for words. For words that end in a uh, double sound. Con un sonido de vocal. Okay. Con un sonido de vocal. No la vocal en sí, sino que un sonido de vocal. Como le decía antes, honesto es inicia con H. También hora inicia con H, pero no se pronuncia. En honest, en hour. Ok. Y hay varias excepciones. Así sería. Fácil, ¿verdad? Facilísimo. <ríe> ok. Más preguntas. Dígame. No, la verdad que solo creo que quizás tengo que ampliar el vocabulario nada más porque y, y, y leer un poquito más porque Creo que lo que nos ha enseñado, o sea, está bien, se entiende, pero ahí yo creo que es, es, es mío como ampliar un poquito más el, el vocabulario. Sí, ya mañana se cambia todo, todo lo que hemos estado viendo, porque hemos estado leyendo con, con el Simple Present, dos semanas casi con el mismo, mismo Simple Present, ya me hace cambio, ya no es Simple Present, no que es uh, progresivo, con futuro incluido, entonces, sí, es sencillo. Ok. okay. okay. Ya, um, mañana ya, ya no me conecto. Es fácil, es fácil. Ya verá que será muy sencillo. Ok. Uh -huh. uh, bueno, a todos les, les he pedido recomendaciones para poder seguir mejorando. Así que le pregunto: ¿Recomendations para mejorar? Este. Um, no, la verdad que sí, no, 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 no nos explica bien la clase, nos da, nos da ejemplos. 
nos, nos hace participar a todos. Quizás un poquito eh, de cuando nos equivocamos en alguna palabra, al menos con, conmigo lo, lo, lo hace, me, me corrige cuando, cuando me equivoco. Creo que es, es, eso está bien nada más. No, no tengo recomendaciones adicionales, creo que todo está bien. Ok, excelente. Yay. <risa> ok, ok, muchas gracias. O sea, ha sido un placer, Rosemary, que de casa, ok. Gracias. Feliz noche. Ah, gracias, igual. See you.